so that was also a recent uh, uh, presentation, uh, and that was actually at the American Academy of Neurology meeting. And, and here we were simply interested to, to determine whether individuals who had come in with a single attack were likely to respond well to inoblizumab as well as those who had had more than one attack. Uh, and this is an important consideration for newly diagnosed individuals who um, I, I think are, are potentially quite good candidates for use of this type of disease-modifying therapy. And the, the, the uh, outcome, this was a post hoc analysis, so it wasn't a pre-specified uh, hypothesis to test, but post hoc we wanted to find out whether individuals who had had one attack came into the study and, and were treated with thinobolizumab had a similar degree of efficacy as those who had had more than one attack. And, and so the clinical trial allowed individuals to have had one attack as long as they're AQP4 seropositive or, or uh, many attacks. And of course, those who had had many attacks in the past were more likely to be previously treated with other disease-modifying therapies. And uh, the observation was that regardless of individuals having had one attack or more, more than one attack, uh, there was a consistent therapeutic benefit of inobolizumab. So the, the take-home point from that study is that inobolizumab can be used effectively in newly diagnosed NMO patients, as well as those who have had more than one attack and have had prior exposure to other uh, potential disease-modifying therapies.